same. Think we need tornado, tornado uh, preparations right here. Just to. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to get soaked. Oh well. Get me out of here. Ah, and here, another prime example. Look at this. Look at it hanging on. Just watching some tennis from the uh, close up view. Playing your little risky. The ball might come from behind this whap. So at Kroger, I can get like four of these uh, small cucumbers for like $3. I got this many from H Mart. Guess how much this costs. Let's take a look. Let's see if you're right. Uh, 88 cents for all of these. Jeez. Got my Bucky's cup. This is probably going to last me for like a week straight. <laughs> and I got this. This is a, what is this? Orange vanilla. Coca-Cola with zero calories. Let's see what this tastes like. Taste test. Hmm, wow. That's pretty good. Kind of question the vanilla, but that's pretty good. Jeez. It's going crazy up here in Dallas. Ooh. in my high school courts, look how many there are with stadium lights and everything. 12 courts. Sheesh. I heard they're building new ones next year too. Oh lord, yeah. <laughs> yes. It still has battery on it. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. We've had that for like 10 years. China, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, there it is. What do you think? <laughs> Should I leave it like this? So you know how girls like shiny things? What about this shiny thing right here? <laughs> Check it out. Charlotte's Web. Look at the artistry. Woo! Dang, look at the glisten. Today is May 11th and we are on a very sketchy road right here with Carlos. It's called Mimosa Avenue. <laughs> this is where people get murdered. We're going to, currently on the way, oh. Oh, you can actually see. We're currently on the way to San Marcos. We're doing a lot of moving this, this week. It was just in Austin yesterday. And we're going back to San Marcos again because one of our friends has recently opened another branch of his illustrious restaurant called Dawn. Very popular in Austin. Japan, he opened a Japanese restaurant. Got super big in Austin. Well, it was a food truck first, right? Mm -hmm. Food truck first, then he opened an actual restaurant location. Now he opened another one in San Marcos. So this is kind of to celebrate that. We're going over there to San Marcos for a big celebration of, of sorts. That we are fashionably very fucking late to. Yes, yes, exactly. So our friend Eddie built this whole freaking 16 foot bar by himself. And as for a little Easter egg, you see all these rocks that he just put in this epoxy? Look, uh, look right, uh, right here. Dude, What's that? <laughs> that doesn't look like a rock. <laughs> Dang, Eddie's cooking it up. He's whipping this stuff out fast, too. He's just back there, boom, boom, boom. Look at all these. Really? Eddie cutting it up out here. Slicing and dicing. Slicing and dicing. <laughs> Coming in clutch. Why is the sky bright over there? It's like 3.30 a.m. right now. Do you see that? How is that happening? It's like middle of the night time. It's too early for the sun to be out. Hey, Carla, show me that sword action. Can we see that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday and Wednesday went to Dallas and back. Friday, Austin and back. Yesterday, which was Saturday, San Marcos and back. Today, I drove to three different sites to watch the tennis tournament and then home.
and just finish some notes for tomorrow. I'm freaking exhausted. Kill me. All right, guys, it is uh, May 13th. Now it's been a while. It's been pretty freaking busy because we're getting down to the end of the line, the end of the year, guys. And, you know, there's... It's getting a little busy right now. Tomorrow we have our tennis banquet, right? That's like the end of the year big banquet. I'm putting together the seniors' gifts right here. Here's some like pictures. We're getting each senior like this multi-photo frame thing. My idea, by the way. <laughs> but uh, you know, because we're like the other coaches kind of thinking about maybe getting them something that would help them in their college lives. But I feel like these senior gifts should be something that's a little bit more memorable, uh, more to do with memories and just the all, everything that you've done through these years like more more for sentimental value than practical value in, in my eyes that's what these kind of gifts should be so we're doing these pictures we got to write some letters and stuff i still gotta make a video tonight it's i feel a little uh i feel pretty stressed right now because there's a lot of things to do so yeah as well as you know just a giant announcement coming in tomorrow so anyways you know doing this right now and then about to go play some tennis Oof. Oh boy, mattress here. Uh, Carla spent the day the other night whenever we came back. Oh man, let me just let me just lay here and talk a little bit. Um, I'm really freaking exhausted. Today we just had our end of the year tennis banquet, and uh, you know I actually was really stressing over it because I was trying to you know make these videos for it. I literally took the day off so I could prepare for it, make the videos, get my mind set, and prepare the senior gifts and everything. Um, and now that it's done, I'm just freaking exhausted. I think, like, this normally doesn't happen to me, but I was so anxious looking forward to it and just stressed out about it at the same time that I couldn't even, like, my appetite was gone. I couldn't even eat lunch. I ate part of my lunch, and then I was just like, dang, I, I literally cannot finish it. With That normally doesn't happen because I freaking put down what I'm eating normally, you know? But, um, yeah, it was, I know it's gonna be a big deal because this is where the event where I was going to announce that I'm not gonna return as the tennis coach or return to Klein Oak High School at all this following year, you know. And it was really I I don't think people really expected that. They all thought I was gonna be the head coach next year because they all expect our other head coach to leave because she's pregnant. So you know that makes sense. They thought I was gonna be the head coach, you know, and I really didn't I didn't spoil it at all. Um, so when I broke the news, they were really surprised. But it was really. I gotta be honest, it's really touching, you know, like, all the guys came up to me, they talked, they gave me, like, you know, very sincere talks, like, opened up a little bit, you know, how they felt and everything, it was, it's was, it was hard to do that as a high schooler, you know, and they're just telling me how they appreciate me and everything, and it really means a lot to me, you know, like, this program is, the tennis program was, like, definitely the highlight of my high school career over here at this high school. For the past two years, you know, I really look forward every single time to tournaments, even though, like, it sucks because I miss sleep, you know, I have to wake up early, get the bus, and drive the bus around and everything, but really, like, I loved it, like, it was definitely the best part, working with the kids and coaching and just messing around, you know, it was really, it was very enjoyable, and it was the memories that I wanted to make, you know, there were a lot of things that I wanted to say in my speech or whatever, that I kind of just forgot because, you know, just, I, I don't write things down, I just literally just talk like I'm doing right now, you know, but... It was nice to have all those guys come up and just tell me how they felt about uh, just what I've done for them and blah blah blah. And uh, you know, it was it was actually it was actually pretty moving. And then even like a lot of the parents and even the girls were coming up and saying, you know, just the parents were like, you know, they were looking forward to me being head coach next year and everything. And they're like, what are you doing next year? And so it was really nice. But you know, I'm definitely sad because you know my biggest hesitation. Well, there's two really, but my biggest hesitation is about leaving this job, you know, because it's it's a lot, you know. Um, there's not much free time, and that's kind of what I wanted, you know. You guys have seen it. The freaking YouTube going to shiz is dying, you know, because I don't post as much as I should and everything. Because I don't have any free time, you know. But uh, the biggest, the two things that were keeping me from, like, thinking, well, I, should I leave? Were one, I want to be with the tennis team, you know, and I want to see what they're going to do next year because... Some of the players that are, you know, close with me are, they're graduating next year. It would have been nice to hang around with them. And then a lot of my students that I started with, because I started with uh, sophomores, so after teaching three years, they would have graduated next year as well. So I'm going to miss the chance to see them, you know, to, to be teaching while they graduate. Those are my two biggest, uh, two biggest hesitations about this whole thing. But yeah, I'm breaking it out here now to you guys, so you guys know as well. But yeah, it's just been a very emotionally draining day but definitely looking forward because starting tomorrow i'm going to 
College Station for State, UIL State, will be coaching there, coaching our girl there. It's going to be very exciting. So the year's not done yet, but, you know, this big just emotional release. I got to eat, man. I got to eat. I still have work to do, man. But, oh, man, it's just definitely just a huge relief to finally get this off my chest, you know, so crazy, crazy. I know I'm supposed to be on this diet right now, but, you know, honestly, today really just screw it. I'm going to finish my... Lunch that I didn't finish. This is it right here. I made that uh, stir fry. Recently, I've been in the kitchen, wrist twisting like a stir fry. Got that. Keep this small. Oh, California poke bowl that I bought from this place called Genia. Hopefully, there's no worms and stuff. <laughs> I say that because I, as you see, there's no trash can here because I opened it today and there are maggots everywhere. It's freaking disgusting. So now I got it sitting outside after I wash it a little bit. And I'm also gonna eat this. So all this looks really good. Um, kind of a lot, but I kind of I need to force myself to eat because I haven't eaten anything today. So, yep, crazy. What uh stress or emotions do to you? Hey.